My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So I am trying out a new recipe tonight. It's a low carb recipe for hamburger, sausage, broccoli, Alfredo. So I'm going to be using some onions, garlic, mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna be using some heavy whipping cream, some Parmesan cheese, just the kind in the, in the little jar here. Calls for oregano, I don't have oregano. I have Italian seasoning. Gonna be using some pork sausage and lean ground beef, fresh broccoli, and I can't remember if I mentioned cream cheese and mozzarella. So let's get started. Okay, so I've cooked up my meat mixture and it also had the onions and garlic in there as well. I just added some heavy whipping cream. Next, I'm going to add my softened cream cheese. Now, I will say that the original directions are a little bit more complicated, I feel, than they needed to be. So the original direction said to um, melt the cream cheese separately with heavy whipping cream and then all of that. And it, to me, it just made more sense just to melt it in the pot or skillet. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna let this melt out and I'm also adding in the Parmesan cheese. So once this melts, I'm gonna add in my fresh broccoli. The directions also said to steam the broccoli separately and then lay it on top of this um, mixture and then top it with mozzarella. I'm not gonna do that either. So I'm actually just going to, once this melts out, I'm gonna add in my fresh broccoli, um, stir it all together, put it in my seven by 11 casserole dish, top it with the um, mozzarella and bake it. It says for about 30, 45 minutes. Okay, so here's the casserole. I ended up baking this for about half an hour and as you can see that uh, cheese got nice and brown. So you might wanna watch it, even though it says 35 to 45 minutes, I think that was kind of too long. And I'm serving it with some corn, some fresh corn on the cob. Now you could definitely make some rice to go with it and serve the casserole on top. That would actually be pretty good too. But again, we're trying to do a lower carb meal tonight. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So we are eating from our freezer and pantry tonight. We are having tempura shrimp. And this shrimp is uh, one that I picked up from Aldi. I really like it a lot. It is seasonal, but I have had these in my freezer for just a little while. And it comes with the soy dipping sauce, which is right here. So it comes with 12 and we are eating six for our dinner tonight, three each. With it, I am serving just some macaroni and cheese that I had in my pantry. And then I had a little bit of fresh broccoli left, so I just sauteed it with olive oil. And then I used this seasoning on it that I had in my uh, pantry as well. I have a bunch, that is Harrison, he's having dinner. But I have a bunch of seasonings that I told you I'm trying to get through, so I'm using up this one. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having salads. So in my freezer, I had these Dino Buddies that I got for Harrison, my two-year-old. He does not like these. So I decided to pop them in the air fryer and then I chopped them up and we are having chicken salads for dinner tonight. So I've got some just butter lettuce and then I've got some purple cabbage, got the um, chicken nuggets and then I also have some bacon on there got green onion and cheddar cheese. Normally I make boiled eggs, but I totally forgot about it, so no boiled eggs. And then um, I am using this as my salad dressing, and Howard is going to be using this as his salad dressing. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is sausage and kale bucatini. So in my skillet, I've got a pound of hot Italian sausage. To that, um, I added in some garlic and I'm getting ready to add in my kale. And I'm just gonna let that kale wilt down a little bit. Okay, so the kale has wilted quite a bit. 
Next, I'm going to add some olive oil. It doesn't, the recipe doesn't call for garlic infused, but that's what I have and that's what I'm using. And I'll make sure, of course, to link the recipe in the description box. I'm not following it exactly, but I've added in some garlic um, olive oil. And now I'm gonna add in some onion powder. some garlic powder. And a little bit of onion salt. And now I'm just gonna give this a good stir and let that kale continue to cook down. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my bucatini. If you're not familiar with bucatini, bucatini is a pasta um, it's kind of like a batter spaghetti, if you will, but it has a hole in it. And I'm just adding that in, and I'm going to give it a good toss. Okay, so here's our dinner. Pretty tasty. I will say it's very similar to a recipe that I've made in the past. It's a bow tie pasta dish. I'll try to link it in the description box so you can check it out, but this is very good. I've never actually had bucatini or cooked bucatini. I liked it. I will say that the recipe calls for 12 ounces of bucatini, and I have um, an 11 ounce skillet. That's what I cooked it in, and all of that pasta would not fit in the skillet. I have about half of it left, which I'm gonna, you know, I don't know, do something else with it, I'm not sure. But I also decided to make some dessert. In my pantry, I had this funfetti cupcake mix, and it makes 12 cupcakes, and I decided to make just six jumbo cupcakes instead. So half with sprinkles, half without. Howard's not into sprinkles. So um, I just uh, wanted to use it up. It's been in my pantry for a little while. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so we are trying out a new frozen pizza for dinner today. I picked this up from Walmart a while back ago. If I can remember the haul, I will link it in the description box. But um, this is called Barstool Sports One Bite. Everybody knows the rules, pizza. Supreme, it says stone baked crust in it has sausage, pepperoni, red and green bell peppers, red onion, product of Canada. So you're supposed to bake it directly on the oven rack at 450 degrees. So I wanted to show you all what it looks like before I put it in the oven. So plenty of toppings on there, lots of veggies. So I'll show you the end result. Okay, so here's the pizza. I did have to bake this longer than the 13 minutes that it recommended, probably about four more minutes. Howard and I tried it, and we think it's just okay. Nothing special. Um, it wasn't worth the extra money that I paid for this pizza. To me, it doesn't taste any different than like a DiGiorno or a Red Baron or something like that. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. I don't think it's worth the extra money. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.